Hello to everyone who clicked on this video. My name is Taylor Regine. If you are new and if you are not, welcome back. I want to give a thank you to everyone who has been liking, commenting, subscribing, booking private readings, ordering stuff off my website. So much gratitude towards you guys. If you want to order something off my website or book a private reading with me, I'm going to leave the link to my website in the, in the description box down below for you guys. Now, in today's Pick a Car, we are going to be taking a look at why are you going through this? Whatever you're going through in your life, whatever obstacles you feel like you are facing, we're going to be taking a look at why this is happening and what you are supposed to learn from this. Now, I have three different piles in front of me. Pile number one is to your left and pile number three is to your right. I'm going to have all of the timestamps linked in the description box down below for you guys as usual and I will see you at your piles. Hello to everyone who has chosen pile number one. This is going to be your reading on why you are going through this. I'm going to be taking a look at all the aspects of your life when it comes to like love and career and things like that to try to cover all bases without making this reading too, too long, okay? So let's go ahead and jump right in. The card that you guys received is your life is a canvas, artist, manifestation, creative accountability. All right, pile number one. This is what you are going through is really trying to get you to get rid of any self-limiting beliefs that you have. All right. With your life as the canvas, this is really calling you to understand that you are the creator of your own life, regardless of what hand you felt like you were dealt, regardless of who or what you feel like has control of your life, whether that be a relationship, a job, um, a circumstance, anything like that. This is really calling you to understand that you are the artist in your own life. You can manifest whatever you want, pile number one. So this is really calling for you to change the way you are thinking about your life. You could be manifesting stuff that is undesirable because you are having negative thoughts thoughts about maybe some situations that you are going on or you have going on in your life right maybe you're going through a really really hard time and you're thinking really really negatively about it right with artists some of you guys could be creative you could be business owners you could have an idea of some sort that you either are putting effort into and not really seeing the results or you are not putting any effort into it because you feel like you won't get any results. Both of those things are not true. And by telling yourself that or thinking uh, these types of things, you are unintentionally manifesting bad results. So there is a blockage there, pile number one. Let's go ahead and get some tarot cards. This is really calling for you to trust your intuition, to trust yourself, regardless of what anything and anyone else says, regardless of what logic says, regardless of how many people have told you that this isn't going to work out for whatever reason. This is really calling for you to have faith in spirit because spirit, the universe, God, whatever you believe in is saying, follow the light. Follow the light that you can see because it is the light at the end of the tunnel. Let's go ahead and get some tarot cards. Why is pile number one going through this? One at a time, please. Why is pile number one going through this? We have the eight of cups. Why is pile number one going through this? We have the Emperor card. It came out in reverse. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And we have the Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. It is in reverse. 
and then we have the ace of wands also in reverse this is really calling you pile number one to walk away from something here with the eight of cups walk away from those self-limiting beliefs walk away from things that have you give your power away here with the emperor card things that don't deserve your attention things that make you sad why think those thoughts if they are upsetting you all right now i'm an overthinker right i'm a worrier i'm like a pro at overthinking so what i do okay side note this is a little story but what i do is i really schedule myself a worry time all right i worry every day from 7 to 7 30 all right 7 to 7 30 i worry about everything that i want to worry about in my life and what i find that happens is by the time i get to seven o'clock when i'm supposed to worry about stuff i don't even remember half of the stuff that i want to worry about because it's unimportant anyway none of it even matters all right so this is really calling for you to walk away from those thoughts to walk away from those self-limiting beliefs and walk away from anything and anyone who is toxic that is making you feel bad about yourself which is making you feel like your ten of cups is not going to happen here okay because i could see here especially with this star card in reverse a lot of you aren't seeing a light at the end of the tunnel all right so this is really letting you know to trust in god to trust in spirit and to know that miracles are possible and you should be expecting them with the eight of pentacles it could really be job it could really be a work situation it could be money this is calling for you to put effort and time and the things that you want to do all right some of you could be wanting to change careers and it could seem a little out of reach because you know that's not logical or something along those lines this is letting you know that anything is possible for you with this ace, ace of cups in reverse this is letting you know that you can be abundant there are new opportunities here for you to have your cup overflowing it is enough there is enough for everyone on this earth and i feel like that is not talked about enough we all feel like we have to be in competition with each other or we have to claw our way to the top and there's not enough there is enough on this earth for everyone to be happy all right so you have to trust in that and you have to believe it because when you are manifesting something pal number one you have to understand that if your thoughts are not aligned with your manifestation it creates a blockage all right you can't ask for something and not believe that it will happen or you know not have the belief that you are worthy of this manifestation okay because we have the ten of cups here and i know it's reversed but this is showing the potential for you to have everything that you wish for everything that you desire pal number one because you are worthy of that all right let's go ahead and take a look I'm going to go ahead and actually we'll do some other Oracle decks first. All right. So pile number one. Why is this happening? We have conclusions are within reach. And bottom of the deck, you and your loved ones are safe. This is happening to really have you have faith in spirit faith in the divine and know that you are taken care of despite the situation despite what anyone else says a lot of times in our life we are put in situations that trigger us to test us to take us to the next level to see how far we have come on our spiritual journey all right spirit is saying trust me i am the light at the end of the tunnel you can trust me and fall into my arms you are safe despite what the outside circumstances are telling you and as soon as you believe that pile number one things will align for you we have communication 
we have creativity all right some of you guys are very very creative here you could be business owners you could be uh, psychics or tarot readers you could be using your voice to do something here with communication this is saying believe in yourself believe in your abilities okay because this will work out for you this is really i feel like this is pushing you guys to the edge right pushing you to take that leap of faith and trust that everything is working out for you in divine order let's go ahead and clarify communication Can we clarify communication here right knight of cups we have the lover's card we have the three of cups this is calling for you to fight this is calling for you to have courage to have faith to have bravery and your ideas and what you believe in all right the knight of cups is an opportunity the lovers is a opportunity and the three of cups is celebration for you pile number one this is working out for you okay state what you want all right pray about what you want ask for what you want but not only ask for it but have the confidence and the faith that you are going to receive everything that you are asking for here pal number one all right don't have doubt all right it's okay to have a little bit of doubt right we're human so it's unrealistic to say that you're going to be in a good mood you know 100 percent of the time but this is saying believe in yourself and know that you are safe here all right, we have joy and contentment. How can you bring more joy in your everyday life, right? I like to write a gratitude list. In the hardest time when my ego likes to cling to lack and to fear, I really hold space for love and gratitude because that is what is needed in those moments of uncertainty. This is saying, really have joy and contentment because spirit wants you to be in this energy all the time you deserve it and this is what is headed toward you joy and contentment and stability and this ten of cups everything that you want pile number one you just have to believe that you are worthy of that all right what else for pile number one all right, we have power and intention. This is really, I feel like you guys are master manifestors here. This is really letting you know that you have the ability to create the life that you want for yourself. It's only about shifting your perspective, pal number one. It is only about shifting the way that you think about your life here. And I feel like once you guys clear that blockage out, stuff is going to start coming in like that for you, okay? It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. All right, messages for power number one on why they are going through this. All right, we have a deep knowing. Yeah, y'all are intuitive. You already know this is going to work out for you, power number one. You have something, <laughs> sorry about that, um, horn outside but i'm really thinking that that is just like a synchronicity right that's proving my point you already know that this is working out for you you already know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel you just have to realign your thoughts with that so this can come in for you we also have not for you all right this is also having you break karmic cycles toxic ties things that are not worth your time not worth your energy and it can be scary all right and then bottom of the deck we have milk and honey all right we have two rainbows here this is setting you up to get exactly what you want but i feel like the next level of your life is going to require you to trust your intuition and be confident in yourself and knowing that everything is taken care of and everything is working out for your highest and greatest good so spirit the universe god whatever you believe in is really calling for you to have faith in these times where it feels like there is no way out or it feels like that everything is crumbling around you because it is really darkest before the dawn here pile number one all right let's go ahead and take whoops sorry <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look into your love life let's get some romance angels 
I said I'm going to try to cover everything without this reading being super long. All right, why is this happening to pile number one in their love life? All right, we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Why is this happening? So pile number one. Let's see, we have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I'm gonna be pulling one more of these cards for pile number one. Well, excuse me, two came out, so we'll take them both. We have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And then we have calling in your soulmate. So some of you guys are single. Some of you guys are questioning the relationship that you are in. Some of you guys have been done dirty by your partner. All right, we have codependency at the bottom of the deck. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Some of you guys are really separating from toxic codependent relationships, okay? Maybe this is somebody who you live with and finances and career are an issue because you don't have that second income anymore or something along those lines. Some of you could have met this person at work. It definitely doesn't have to be. But this is happening to you. This separation, this deception, this sadness. This is happening to you to really call in your actual soulmate and give you what you want, pal number one. This ten of cups, this milk and honey. This is happening to you to let you know that you are worthy of more all right to let you know that you don't deserve this you don't deserve to be deceived by anyone you don't deserve to be lied to by anyone and you deserve exactly what you want you deserve to be loved you deserve to be in a relationship that is not codependent here all right so if your love life is really you know maybe not popping right now or maybe you are sad maybe you recently had a breakup or something this is happening to you to really set you up for exactly what you want and what you deserve pal number one all right we are going to pull some tarot cards on your finances and career why is this happening to pile number one what's going on with finances let's see we have the four of swords we have the four of pentacles we have the five of pentacles what's going on we have the king of wands ten of pentacles bottom of the deck pile number one Yo, you have a lot of abundance headed your way. And it might not seem like it. I could see that some of you are going through a really, really hard time right now. You could be on a break from work, especially, especially with this falling over separation here. You could have lost your job. You could be having reduced hours or something along those lines. And with the four of pentacles, you could be having to hold on tight to money. Or you could just have a lack of money here, especially with the five of pentacles. You could be having to penny pinch or you could be having to re uh do your budget you could be really going through a hard time right now it seems like pile number one is really having a tower moment in their life or in your life everything is seeming to crumble around you your romantic life your job everything but this is really to get you to this king of wands state all right this self sufficient state where you don't have to want for anything right king of wands is a confident business owner all right which is why i know some of you are creative you have your own businesses things like that you could not be getting like orders or clients or something along those lines this is really setting you up for this ten of cups this milk of honey and really being self-sufficient you have the ten of pentacles here also pal number one this is setting you up to really bring this manifestation in but there are some things that are in your life that are unaligned that must be removed before this comes in for you this is really calling for you to like i said change your perspective and although you are going through this tower moment this hard time to really trust and fall into the arms of the universe and know that this is all happening for you and not to you 
All right, I'm going to be pulling one last oracle card, and this is just about your spirituality, your spiritual journey. Why is pal number one going through this? <laughs> we have the magician. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. Pile number one. And then we have the number one, which is a new start. This is to introduce you to a new life. This is to show you your power. Pile number one, your back is up against the wall. You're nervous. I can feel it. But this is to let you know that you can manifest anything you want. This is to let you know that you have everything that you need to move for despite the circumstances this is about to be a new phase in your life which is why you are having this tower moment like i said before it is darkest before the dawn so know that you are going to get through this know that i am so so proud of you pal number one and know that you have look we got three rainbows here you have a happily ever after right on the other side right on the horizon for you pal number one so I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with that. Hopefully this reading was not too long for you. Thank you so much for letting me read for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Hello to everyone who chose pile number two. This is going to be your reading on why you are going through this. I'm going to try to cover everything when it comes to like romance and career and just cover all bases without this reading getting too too long so let's go ahead and dive right in so the card that you received is you're not alone isolation physical connection and community so pile number two i'm receiving a couple of messages from this card this is letting you know that your spiritual team is around you i feel like things could be falling away in your life friendships uh, romantic partners everyone that you thought you could trust all right I feel like some of these things are falling away and it's making you feel kind of isolated this card is here to let you know that you are not alone and your entire spiritual team has your back all right you are going to have new relationships coming into your life that are going to be more meaningful people you can actually trust what i'm really getting is do not close your heart chakra i feel like you could be very very defensive right now because you have been hurt uh by these people or things have been revealed to you but it was only for them to fall away so you can move forward on your path without this necessary or unnecessary baggage right so this is letting you know that you have a soul family a tribe that will come into your life and don't doubt that don't lose faith and hope in humanity just because a few bad people did you wrong pal number three pile number two excuse me so this is letting you know that you are not alone now for others of you i feel like you guys are very very strong individuals all right and you might have an issue asking for help so you could be going through a really hard time right now or whatever you're going through this may be calling for you to change your perspective and let you know that you are not alone it's okay to ask for help it's okay to confide in people who you trust and have somebody hold you when you cry pile number two there is nothing wrong with that you don't have to be as strong as you think you have to be because you have people around you who love you and people who want to help you get through whatever you are going through all right so this is urging you to come out of isolation and to really step out of your comfort zone and let somebody help you pal number two you don't have to do it all on your own yeah you are strong you are a warrior i am getting that energy you get shit done but it is okay to need help sometimes right even warriors people in the army have a whole team of people by their side and it's okay for you to do that too pal number two let's go ahead and get some oracle cards i mean some tarot cards why is pile number two going through this we have judgment 
it came out in the reverse. Why is pile number two going through this? We have four of wands. We also have the queen of cups. Justice peeked out at the bottom of the deck. We have the king of swords. All right, we have the knight of cups at the bottom of the deck. We also have the eight of wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. We did have the king of swords. He came reverse i am going to read the card upright and reverse because i'm being called to do so okay so you could be with the king of swords coming up in reverse and we have the queen of cups here and this is for a few of you some of you could have been in a situation that was really really not good for you you could have been uh, being manipulated by somebody so this is happening for you to walk away from that person to really uh, get to what you truly deserve here which is this king of swords upright could be somebody from your family somebody who you have kids with a few of you someone who you were married to and I'm hearing that I'm so scared to start all over I'm so scared to start all over and it could have been somebody who you were with for a long time but this is letting you know that you don't have to be scared to start all over pal number two because you deserve to be happy okay regardless of what situation this is this is setting you up and then with this judgment card coming out in reverse this is with judgment this is rebirth this is a new cycle in your life but when it comes up in reverse this is you resisting something that is good for you something that is going to elevate you something that is going to take you to the next level and really provide you with this stability and with this happiness pal number two with this four of wands here all right i really feel like you could be giving to other people or putting other people's needs before yourself and if you are having a hard time in any sort of relationship and you feel like you can get through it on your own maybe you don't need to ask for help maybe you're embarrassed if you have to like leave somebody or get a divorce or something along those lines it doesn't even have to be that deep it could be a career for some of you guys but if you are afraid of taking a step back and having to start all over because you feel like you have worked really really hard to get where you are this is telling you that it is okay Everything that is being dismantled in your life is being dismantled for a reason, pile number two. And it is okay to ask for help, all right? And it is okay to trust and know that everything is working out in your favor. I feel the need to pull more of these cards and clarify, which I didn't do for pile number one, but we're going to do it for pile number two. Why is this happening to pile number two? We have the nine of wands. It is in reverse. All right, we have the three of swords. We have the two of pentacles in reverse. And then we have the three of pentacles bottom of the deck we have the four of pentacles this is happening to really get you in a place of stability pal number two really get you into a place where the ships that you want the seeds that you have planted are growing where this is coming in for you i know that it feels like you're in a really vulnerable space right now you could it could even be a blow to your ego having to ask for help or take another route because you ha have built this stable foundation that seems to be crumbling before you all right and it's not to hurt you this is really happening for you and to help you and to get you in the spot where you can be happy where you can have wish fulfillment here with this star card where you can have people who are in your corner and not out to get you where you can trust without having to look over your shoulder or have a plan a b and c pal number two this is happening to really introduce you to the type of life that you want to live all right so let's go ahead and we'll get some oracle cards this is really happening for you to really put yourself first and pour into your own cup pal number two 
All right, we have believe in the impossible. And we have a personal issue reaches resolution. So know that there is a resolution. We have luck is on your side. You have nothing to worry about, pal number two. And I know it could seem scary walking away for, from something that is in our comfort zone or having somebody who we trusted hurt our feelings and not wanting to ever trust again. But this is calling you to have faith in yourself, have faith in the things that you want and know that you are worthy of receiving those, pile number two. We have spirituality, all right? This is really calling for you to have faith in your spiritual practice, have faith in the divine, the universe, whatever you believe in. Some of you guys could really be into spirituality. We have spiritual partnership. This is setting you up for someone to come into your life and someone to love you all right a lot of you could not be having faith in other people because of everything that's happening around you people who have done you bogus before or you could be like i said afraid to leave a situation and this is letting you know that you have a destined partner out there you have a soul family a soul tribe that is going to be different than anyone who you've ever met and you just have to have faith in that power number two have faith that what you are looking for is just on the horizon for you all right the only way to get through a fear is to face it head on power number two so let's go ahead and clarify this spiritual partnership. We have nine of cups. We have the queen of swords in reverse. All right, we have the seven of cups. And then we have the eight of pentacles, bottom of the deck, we have the lover's card. Yeah, this is calling you to walk away from things and people who could be deceiving you, who um, could not be serving you, who could really be not having your best interest at heart, and really who could be um, clouding your vision here with the seven of cups, right? This is looking through things with rose tinted glasses. Know that you deserve to be happy here with this lover's card and know that it is out there for you and it is attainable. All right, let's go ahead and grab some more Oracle cards for pile number two. Why are they going through this? All right, we have Mother, Father, God, and then we have Divine Timing. Bottom of the deck, we have friendship and union. Yeah, pile number two, you have a soul tribe, okay? You have a group of people. I'm really picking up a lover as well, a destined partner that is wanting to come into your life. But this is calling for you to take a leap of faith and know that this is here for you. All right, with Mother, Father, God, this is asking you to, like I said, trust in the universe, God, whatever you believe in, whatever your spiritual practice is, and know that everything is happening in divine timing. What is for you will never miss you, pile number two, and it is never too late to start over. Some of you could be thinking, oh, you know, I'm older, I'll never find anybody, or, you know, I've... I've you know, built all of this up. I don't want to have to start over. This is letting you know that not only can you start over and not only is this attainable for you, but you can be happy, pile number two. Not only can you be happy, but you deserve to be happy, period. All right. Why is pile number two going through this? Number two going through this. We have co-create and we also have higher power. We also have bottom of the deck, exchanging gifts. The universe is trying to bless you. 
pile number two the universe is trying to bless you but with also with this four of pentacles you could be holding on too tight you're holding on too tight to what you have and you're not creating room for anything else to come in anything better the universe is asking you to trust the universe is asking you to come to the edge and take that leap of faith go ahead and co-create because the universe and your spiritual team has your back all right with exchanging gifts here this reminds me of the six of pentacles which i always call a manifestation card it is the gift from the universe and right underneath we have soulmate right underneath we have go the distance i'm gonna stop pulling cards but this is letting you know that you are capable of attaining this you deserve to be happy pile number two this blessing is trying to come in but it is having you trust it is having and i'm getting chills it is having you release the things that you are holding on to so tight it is going to be replaced with everything that you've ever wanted all right you just have to know that okay pal number two all right let's go ahead and take a look into your love life we got some romance angels all right why is this happening to pile number two in their love life whoops all right so we have release your ex we have new we have children we have new love all right so we have release your ex the time has come to clear your energy we have children your love life is ex um your love life is being affected by children and then we have new love um a new person has restored your romantic it has stirred your romantic interest and at the bottom of the deck i'm going to pull this card we have unrequited love uh there's not enough attraction to keep this relationship going so that was the bottom of the deck energy um but i'm putting it right here this is basically yeah you guys are holding on tight to a person you could still be involved with the person who you know is not for you uh you could have children with this person which is why you're trying to stay with them right you're trying to fight you're trying to keep this together for it could be your family it could be like your beliefs it could just be for yourself this is calling for you to release that because with new love there is something better for you there is a person who is better for you who is meant for you here with soulmate that is trying to come in but instead of holding on so tight here with this four of pentacles you and have to release this for this star right this wish fulfillment and it's crazy because you could probably be feeling this person's energy right i'm saying that this man is standing here he almost looks like a ghost right so you can sense it you already know this is on the horizon for you this is calling for you to have faith and trust and with unrequited love y'all know this is not working all right i don't have to tell you that you came here for confirmation you know this is not working and you know that you deserve more and you deserve to be happy and the universe is trying to give that to you the universe is to trying to trying to provide you with just that but you have to take that first step towards the universe so the universe could take that step toward you pal number two let's take a look at your career and your finances really quick all right why is this happening to those who chose pile number two their career and their finances we had too many cards pop out why is this happening we have the six of swords it's in reverse we have the five of wands we have the hermit we have the five of swords then we have the ten of pentacles in reverse bottom of the deck we have the three of pentacles in reverse some of you could have recently lost a job some of you i feel like are in a two parent household and you feel like if your family falls apart your finances will fall apart right you're scared of this change here we have two fives you're scared of this conflict you're scared of stepping out of your comfort zone because you feel like you won't be able to pick up the slack on your own right some of you are searching for a job some of you are scared to step away because you feel like you are being poverty 
um, or will be in poverty. Spirit is urging you to trust, right? And know that you will be taken care of because what is the outcome of this? What is the outcome? All right, we have the Six of Cups. All right, this is a gift. We have the Knight of Pentacles. This is opportunity. All right, we have the Queen of Wands. This is stability, baby. All right, you have nothing to worry about, pile number two, if you decide to step away because the weight that you are carrying is too heavy for you and you should not be expected to carry this on your own, okay? It is okay for you to ask for help. Bottom of the deck, the three of cups. You have celebration on the horizon for you. This is really asking for you to trust and really asking for you to have faith because I see that there's a lot of conflict going on in your finances right now with the hermit card. You guys are really, really looking for a way out, a way through it and and just know that this is all to get you to a stable place here pile number two i'm going to take one last oracle card don't want your reading to get too long this is about the overall energy your spiritual journey your spirituality and final messages from the divine for pile number two we have the seven of Michael. There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So this is also going back to, it's okay to ask for help. Bottom of the deck, leap of faith, come to the edge pal number two go ahead and jump because the universe is waiting to catch you it says believe in yourself listen to your heart do what gives you joy you don't have to stay in the situation that you are in because it's convenient because other people feel like you should stay there or because it seems like the most logical thing to do because like this is saying you deserve to be happy right you don't just deserve to be comfortable you don't just deserve to sit somewhere because it's convenient you deserve everything that you you want right so this is saying take a look around there is a better course of action for you and don't be afraid to reach out to ask for help because you have help available to you pal number two all right so i'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with that thank you so much for letting me read for you today don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys next time Hello to everyone who has chosen pile number three. This is going to be your reading on why you are going through this. I'm going to be taking a look at career and love and everything so we can cover all bases without this reading getting too long. So you guys are the only group that got two of these cards. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So we have called soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. And then we have here, I uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. We have longing for home, homesick for the stars, pile number three. This is my light workers. This is my leaders. This is my tarot readers. These are my star seeds. You guys are leaders and you could be going through a spiritual awakening right now. You are being called to step up. Okay, you are here to raise the vibration. So everything in your life could be changing right now. Things could be being dismantled. Relationships could be falling away. Jobs could be falling away. Everything that you once believed to be true could be falling away. And it really is making you feel very, very isolated, right? We have longing for home, homesick for the stars. You can feel like no one here understands you. And trust me, I have been there. This is calling you to step up because you are here for a purpose. You are here on a mission to change the world, pile number three. How beautiful is that? Let's go ahead and get some tarot cards. All right, you guys have gifts. All right, this is training right now. You've done this before. All right, you are here to lead other people to the light. Some of you could be seniors doing this, right? Just watching the reading for fun. Hey, hi, hello. Or some of you could be new waking up and really stepping into your path, but your soul really incarnated on this earth to help raise the vibration, to, uh, 
have some sort of mission which we're not going to go into because this isn't that type of reading i could do a reading on you know your purpose or your destiny if you want me to but this is more so that you have a mission here all right and you are waking up you are being called because it is time to step up to the plate pal number three all right, let's go ahead and shuffle some tarot cards. Why is pile number three going through this? We have the Ace of Pentacles. Why is pile number three going through this? We have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you guys are headed towards a new beginning. Look at this bottom of the deck. We have the Ace of Swords. We are pulling it out. Yo, y'all are starting a whole new life, pile number three. I'm getting chills. This is amazing. Yo, if this last eighth ace pop pops out, I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> Why is pile number three going through this? We have the two of cups. I'm going to pull one more. Why is pile number three going through this? We have the two of pinnacles. I find that so funny. We have one, 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 two, two. Bottom of the deck, we have the eight of pentacles. It's time to get to work, pal number three. It is time to step up to the plate to create change in this world, right? You have the ace of pentacles, the ace of wands, the ace of swords. You guys are leaders. God damn it, pal number three. I'm getting chills. Some of you could have... Um, a career path, a destined partner. I'm really feeling like a destined partner for a lot of you who you are supposed to be with, who you are going to work with to raise the vibration in some sort of way is your mission here, pile number three. This is happening to you. Everything is, and I'm seeing these birds. I'm really being attracted to birds, so that could be significant to you. I'm really being attracted to the hands and all of this cards. I feel like the universe spirit divine whatever you believe in is really working through you to really be a leader and give people hope to show the way a lot of you could be like i said teachers light workers tarot readers um reiki healers you are here to heal the world by just being you pile number three all right we have the eight of pentacles you are here to work and then we have the uh is this the queen of cups yes the queen of cups she's in reverse you are here to heal your wounds heal your past trauma i, I swear with light workers and uh things like that you guys or we i should say really go through things and we really have a lot of obstacles in our life because we have to pave the way for other people so whatever obstacles you are going through right now know that these obstacles are happening for you not to you and this is for you to overcome these obstacles so you can be the leader and show other people how to do it okay your mission here is big you have done this before this is a pile of very very old souls all right let me sit up okay i feel like i need to come correct okay with pal number three yes and then with this two of pentacles i'm just being drawn to how this boy is really kind of like putting on a performance right and even on this side of the car you can see that there are people looking outside of the window at him putting on a performance you are here to go through these obstacles and overcome them so you can show other people how you guys are leaders all right let's get some oracle cards for pal number three why are they going through this we have a new romantic cycle begins so yes, you are not alone. Uh, you are not alone in your journey, pal number three. I really do feel like you guys are gonna have a soulmate, a romantic partner come in, who is going to help you. We have step out of your comfort zone. All right. So this is calling for you to take a leap of faith. Bottom of the deck, we have work through your fears. You are being called to face your fears because it is the scariest thing. It is the scariest thing 
that we have to do on this planet. And most people, believe it or not, pile number three, don't face their fears. They stay within their comfort zone, but you are called to face your fears, to show people that it is just that. It is fears and it is capable of being overcome. All right, or overcame. Let's see, why is this happening to my pile number three? We have personal growth. So, and then look at all this purple. You guys are intuitive. Purple and blue to me is um, intuition. You guys are very, very psychic. You have like a deep knowing. And then look at this card, purple too, spirituality. We have 777, seven, seven. y'all are lucky. Oh, this pile, <laughs> oh my God. All right, let me calm down. I'm doing the most. I'm just like so excited with this pile. You have 777, which to me is like luck. It's like good luck charm. And you guys really are, like I said, the leaders in this lifetime. You've come to do something amazing on, on this planet. You guys channel directly from spirit. You have a special connection with the divine power number three. Bottom of the deck, we have karmic completion. So everything in your life could be crumbling right now. Things could be falling away. Relationships could be falling away. Friendships could be falling away. You guys could be really choosing a new career path. You could have went to college, got a degree, been really focusing on your career, and then boom, you want to do something else. You guys are spiritual leaders, spiritual teachers. You are here to pave the way for so many other people. Pal number three, thank you. All right, thank you so much. Look up the number seven, look up 777 to see how that resonates with you. All right, for pile number three, why are they going through this? Why is pile number three going through this? Let's see, we have time to go. Why is power number three going through this? We have observer. Why is power number three going through this? We also have change in the wind, bottom of the deck, by the book. Yeah, you guys are being called to shift your whole life, which is not uncommon. Very not uncommon for people who have like, um, I don't want to say like bigger missions and other people because it's all equal but like i said it could have come as like really sudden to you guys um where you have to leave a lot of things behind and you see how she is headed towards a new door a new life a new destiny here all right with change in the wind i know this is out of your comfort zone out of the ordinary here and this is something new it's uncharted territory this is happening to you because you are starting to really go towards your north node your true north really starting to follow your destiny here pile number three why is this happening to pile number three it's really to build confidence in yourself we have learning experience it's really to not only build confidence in yourself because the next level of your life is going to require you to have a lot of confidence in yourself, especially when you're being a leader and you are leading other people, pile number three. So it's really, tr um, this is happening you, to you for you to really trust your intuition, really to trust your guidance, really to trust spirit, the divine, the universe, whatever you believe in, and to really have faith that everything is working out for you because the next step of your journey is really going to call you to trust your instincts, trust your intuition, and have faith, pile number three. With karmic completion here, you're definitely closing out a lot of cycles in your life. Everything is falling away. And it is a tower moment, pal number three. Trust me, I know, I know, and it is uncomfortable. All right, we have mother, father, God. 
but trust all this is happening for your highest and your greatest good the divine has your back spirit has your back pile number three let's see we have sacred plans see yeah y'all have incarnated on this earth to do something here pile number three to make a change we have signs and reminders trust where you are being led despite what the outside circumstances say let's go ahead i want to get some clarity on sacred plan here for my pile number three clarify sacred plan <laughs> I'm not going to take all of these, but I'm going to take King of Wands because it came out on top. All right. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And then we have the Devil card in reverse. Bottom of the deck, the Nine of Wands. You guys have been hurt in the past. This is the Wounded Warrior. And like I said, you've had a lot of obstacles to set you up to teach people how to overcome these obstacles with the king of wands y'all are business owners all right if you're working for somebody right now i don't think you will be for long i feel like a lot of you are going through like a career change a relationship change things in your life that are just changing in general but the king right the king is a leader he makes decisions for the entire kingdom pile number three and this is what you are being called to do being called to step into and with the knight of pentacles this is definitely going to be work right this is just like experience this is asking you to really work for it all right this is breaking these toxic cycles these karmic connections anything that does not serve you so you can reach your highest and fullest potential here pile number three how beautiful is this man y'all are really giving me chills all right let's go ahead and continue we're going to take a look into your love life we'll take a look into your finances we'll take a look into your spiritual journey as well pile number three why is this, why are they going through this in their love life why are they going through this Pile number three, we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss holiday time together. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And then I'm going to take one more. And then we have true love that flipped over. This is a romance of a lifetime. Bottom of the deck. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, so pile number three. A lot of you are leaving behind romantic partners that you thought was the one who was a false soulmate here. With Honeymoon, you guys could have been in relationships, right? Enjoy the bliss holiday time together. So everything... Could have been going good and then you have deception something happened where this person may have done you bogus or you may have changed your perspective on this relationship that called you to really kind of be single and take some time for yourself either you guys are working through this with this could be the one uh you've already met the romantic partner you seek and then we have wedding so either you guys could be working through obstacles or with deception here you could have left left this person uh, alone completely but with engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment you are either meeting someone new or maybe reigniting a flame of someone else who was coming back and it doesn't have to be this person who deceived you it could be somebody else but with keep an open mind i'm really uh being 
told that this is somebody who you either have never given a chance to before or is not somebody who you would normally go for but this is true love here pile number three so if you are in these beginning stages of like deception you are sad you're going through it in your love life this is just to set you up for someone who you are supposed to be with who is the one and i feel like with this pile you guys are definitely on your journey to marriage on your journey to somebody who you are meant to be with and i'm hearing this as someone who is a part of your tribe your soul family pile number three let's go ahead and take a look at your finances your career why is this happening to pile three we have the knight of cups in reverse why is this happening to pile three we have the six of swords in reverse had so many cards fall out we're not taking them all <laughs> why is this happening we have the eight of swords in reverse the star in reverse Why is this happening to my pile number three? We have the nine of wands and the king of wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the six of pentacles. Pile number three, if you are having a hard time in your finances, this is happening to you because the spirit wants you to have a different outlook on your finances, right? You could really be being negative here, especially here with the eight of swords this is really calling you to understand that money does not come from anything but source right money comes from source spirit god the universe whatever you believe in it's a frequency so when you are worrying about money when you are worrying about changing your career when you are worrying about switching jobs and you have the outlook in your mind that this is not working out for you you are going to manifest exactly that so what this is calling you to do is really change your relationship here with money really change your outlook of thinking here with money and know that you are taken care of with this nine of wands maybe you some of you have come from poverty maybe some of you have come from not having enough and spirit wants to get you into the energy of receiving and having enough and knowing that this is attainable for you but you really have to mind your thoughts here pile number one if you are manifesting money your thoughts and your frequency needs to be aligned with just that regardless of what is happening to you on the outside what is happening to you in the physical this is calling you to have faith to believe that miracles are possible for you pile number three because they are and you deserve them all right so even though some of you are defensive about money this is really setting you up to be a leader we have the king of wands again some of you could be fire signs aries leo sagittarius but this is really really setting you up to be stable all right with these six of pentacles i always read this card as manifestation the universe gifting you something this is setting you up to be successful but you have to change the way that you think about money pile number three all right so let's go ahead and wrap it up wrap it up with one last oracle card it's about your spirituality your spiritual journey we have the moon i'm gonna go ahead and pick one more card we have um the opportunity to improve your plans listen to your intuition for accurate guidance face your fears and grow stronger yeah a lot of you guys are psychic if you chose this pile you have an inner knowing trust your intuition pile number three this really is teaching you to trust yourself trust where you are being led and know that it is in the right direction and have faith I'm gonna pull one more of these cards. I didn't do it for any other pile, but I'm gonna do it for you. All right, pile number three. Whoops, that's too many. I ain't taking all these. <laughs> all right, pile number three. All right, we have the Ace of Gabriel. 
a gift of passion, opportunity and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. You guys are going to change the world, pal number three. Bottom of the deck, we have a challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. This is calling for you to have patience with yourself, compassion with yourself, and have faith because you are here to do amazing things. You guys are leaders. Wow. So definitely have faith in yourself, pal. Number three, have faith in your path. Have faith in your destiny despite what the outside world looks like around you and despite what anyone else has to say about it. Because if no one else has told you, I am telling you that you are going to be successful. And that is period. Period. All right. I'm done. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. Thank you so much for letting me read for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.